Hey guys, Dave Moore, iDaveMoore.com. Did you know that the number of guns made has nearly doubled since Comrade Barry has taken office? Now, for those of you who do not know, Comrade Barry is Barry Sotoro, aka Barack Hussein Obama. Had a little name change action going on there for some reason. Now, is this because of Obama's liberal push towards anti-gun, expanding background checks and all of that? Well, yeah, that is most likely the reason. But that is not what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about today is presidential candidate, Democratic presidential candidate, Bernie Sanders. And he came out with a very, very uh, bold anti-gun statement. Basically, what he has said, uh, according to BearingArms.com, linked to NRA News, he said that he wants to make gun laws stricter and more enforceable. And also, he said, I quote, I'm going to read it from here as to not butcher it. He said, Guns used to kill people exclusively, not for hunting, should not be sold in the United States. Guns used to kill people exclusively, not for hunting, should not be sold in the United States. So basically, he wants no guns sold in the United States. But wait, there's more. He said that he is going to ban nearly all handguns, most rifles, and some shotguns. So he's pretty much going to take all of the guns away and ban them from the United States. But he also go, goes on and says that he wants to ban all firearms designed for self-defense, that he regards the Second Amendment as a privilege that allows hunting alone for now. So he regards the Second Amendment for hunting only, which as we all know, the Second Amendment has nothing to do with hunting. It is right to keep and bear arms to protect yourself against a tyrannical government. So, that's kind of a weird coincidence there. Bernie Sanders, tyrannical government, wants to take the guns away from the citizens to keep us from fighting against him. So what does this mean? This means that we need to educate ourselves, educate our friends, educate our family, educate our co-workers, co-workers and colleagues about this scumbag. And we need to make sure that he does not get elected. Now, do I think that he has a chance? I really don't. Because I think most of us are tired of Obama's liberal democratic bullshit, if you want to call it that. Um, so I think that we're making a strive towards our side, so to speak. I think most people are tired of what's going on now, so we're going to try to change it. But we have to educate people because when you get all these uneducated people out there, they're going to vote based off of emotion, basically. And they're not going to do their research. And they're not going to understand that Bernie Sanders, along with Hillary Clinton, are probably the worst things that could happen to America. So remember, Bernie Sanders wants to ban all of your guns, and he wants to create a tyrannical government that we cannot defend ourselves against. So as we know that not all liberals are diehard liberals, not all conservatives are diehard conservatives, not all Democrats are diehard Democrats, not all Republicans are diehard Republicans. But with our politicians, senators, and all of our government officials, they tend to be extreme left or extreme right. Now, Bernie Sanders is an extreme left. Now, as you also know, with most of the politicians, they never waste a tragedy. And all of this was said in the wake of the Louisiana shooting. So what does that tell us? That tells us that he has a agenda and or an agenda, whichever one it is. And uh, he's really making a push and his true heart is starting to show, trying to disarm Americans so that we cannot fight against his tyrannical government. So make sure to educate ourselves, educate our friends, family, and coworkers, as I said, and just make sure that we can step, stay one step ahead of this scumbag. Now, who is the next president going to be? Is it going to be Rand Paul, Ted Cruz, Mike Huckabee, or Marco Rubio? I do not know. They are in my top four, but I am going to need to do some more research and kind of learn more about their politics and about what they're for and against before I can make a decision. And I recommend all of you do the same and all of you try to educate people to do the same because that is what is going to save this country. So, boo to Bernie Sanders and... Uh, that's all I got, guys. Keep shooting.